We want to put a grip on the putter that is different than your full swing grip. And I want to say that again. We want to put a grip on your putter that is different than a full swing grip. And the reason why is this. In a full swing, we release the club. So the club releases over in the full swing, okay? Well, in a putting stroke, you don't release the club. You, don't, you never roll this head over in a putting stroke. The putter basically goes square to square down the line. Now, in a longer stroke, that head will look like it's turned in a little bit, but it's just following the shoulders in that position. We're not releasing this club. So the way we hold this putter must be different, our grip, than our full swing grip. Because the full swing, you'll have a grip on the club that will allow you to release the club. It will feel that grip, will give you a release position. And for most of you, that's either overlapping, maybe interlocking, maybe some of you put a 10 finger on that. That's all fine. That helps you release your full swing club. The putter grip, the way you hold a putter, has to be different than that. And I'm gonna give you an example here. This is my full swing grip. I have an overlapping grip and a full swing. My putter grip is left hand low or lead hand low, double overlap. Obviously, it's dramatically different. This grip or this hold of the putter, it's basically impossible for me to, to release the club. It wouldn't feel right. It doesn't, I, that, that grip right there doesn't know how to release the club. That is a different hold of the club than my full swing. I'll give you some other examples. A lot of tour players have, you know, a lot of great tour players, male and female, have overlapping in the full swing and they reverse overlap on the putting grip. Okay, that's different. Some professionals will overlap in the full swing and they may put a finger or two down the, the shaft on their putting grip. Okay, these are all different. All I care about is that your grip, the way you hold a putter, is different than your full swing grip. And in and, and every professional, LPGA, PGA, Champions Tour, all of them, Every professional holds the putter different than a full swing. And again, the reason why is because you're gonna have two grips developed. You're gonna have a non-release grip, which is your hold of your putter. That grip, you will, over time, will get you a feel of not releasing the club. A good putty stroke does not have release, okay? It does not. Your full swing grip will be your release grip. That, putt, that grip and that hold will allow you to release the club. And we don't want to mess that up because if you don't put a different hold on the putter, every time you work on your putting, you're going to mess up your full swing. Every time you work on your full swing, you're going to mess up your putting. So just put a different hold on that putting grip and you'll be fine. All right, in this segment, we're going to talk about the, um, the how to practice in the checkpoints of putting. You know, the way we teach, I'll remind you real quick of this again, is that we teach, first thing we teach is the fundamental. Then we teach the how to practice the why's of the fundamental. Then we teach the how to practice the fundamental, and then we teach the checkpoints on how to practice. Make sure you're practicing correctly. Okay, so in this segment, I'm going to talk about the literally how to practice and then the checkpoints. And the best way to do it is the ultimate way to practice your putting is with our H3 putting system. Okay, and this is for outdoor or indoor practice. And I have it outdoor set up here. So what I have set up here right now is I have our H3 putting mirror set up. Okay, and the H3 putting mirror has got all the checkpoints built in. It's got the eye line where you can get your eyes over the ball. That's the red line. It's got a red line in the front, which is set up to get the putter face square. It's got blue lines on here to help you get the putter face square going back and also to check your shoulders, okay? Then obviously it has an H3 on here, and the H3 on here is to remind you that as you're using this, you're using the three check system, and we'll go over that, okay? The H3 check system, which is the hands leading, the hands down the line, and the hip check, okay? So every time you set up this mirror, it reminds you to have those checkpoints, and we'll do that here in a second. The other thing I've set up here is I have a string I've set up to help you for alignment, and then I have the throw a hole. And I just put a throw a hole here. Now, you can go to a throw a hole on the, a hole on the golf course. I put a throw a hole here because it really helps you with speed control. And you can sit up anywhere you'd like. You can do it indoor, you can do it outdoor. You can pick a spot in the green, do it anywhere you like. And this is really our outdoor putting system. This is the best way. This is the ultimate way to practice when you're doing putting on outside. Or again, you can do this inside. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna hit a few putts, and I'm gonna talk about the how to practice in the check system, okay? We're gonna set up, we're gonna get the eyes over the ball, we're gonna get the putter face square, we're gonna get the eyes over the eye line, we're gonna get our hands leading, our shoulders are square, okay, I'm gonna hit a putt, okay? Hands down the line, hands leading, hip check. Those three checks in this position, so that putter face right now is square underneath the line, and the butt ends pointed at my hip. Because too often, again, this is what we see. People do this and they pull to the inside. Remember, in a putting stroke, there is minimal movement. There's no movement in the knees, there's no movement in the hips, obviously there's no movement in the feet. We're only moving our shoulders. If you get that ball underneath your eye line, okay, and you get the hands and the shoulders moving correctly and the arms moving correctly, that'll allow you to get the hands down the line, 
the hands leading and get your hip check. Checking that every single time is a key fundamental to perfect putting. Again, it's a key fundamental to perfect putting. This will give you putting consistency. But more importantly, as we teach in our schools, as we teach in everything we do in our methodology, this teaches you how to get the hands down the line in the full swing. Because we've discussed many, many times, if you can't get the hands down the line in the full swing, everything else you're doing is just a compensation, okay? Checking this again and again and again and doing this system, you can do it outside, you can do it inside. This will develop a great putting stroke create a great putting routine for you and using this practice system and this check system will teach you to get those hands down those line hand leading and the hands ahead of the shot every single time which will greatly improve your putting and obviously greatly improve your full swing which will dramatically lower your scoring.